Hey, what's up, ham fam? It is I, Hashinasi, K-I-6-N-A-Z, and I am coming to you with a really cool, super easy DIY project for ham radio. Not too long ago, I made a video about trimming and then setting up a 20 meter dipole, a fixed position dipole antenna. We refer to it as the KG6 HQD dipole. Of course, it's just a um, ladder line dipole, speaker wire dipole. It's really a doublet, right? It doesn't have a coax feed line. It has a balanced feed line that you connect to your radio. Super simple, really cheap. Go check out that video. But I started that video off showing this PVC pipe with an end cap sticking out of it. And what it is is simply a piece of PVC pipe with an inner diameter that's larger than my antenna mast with a tent pole on a PVC cap. That's all it is. And just friction fits on the end. You drive this into the ground, as you saw in the video. And so when it's assembled like that, you just slide your antenna and that's all you gotta do. But this antenna mast is really, really thin and it bows pretty hard under the weight of that speaker wire. So I got a bigger one. Bought this off of eBay, I think for uh, $9. You can see the difference in the larger outer piece, right? It's almost almost twice the size pretty much. So we're gonna make a new one. I'm gonna show you how to do it, but really, do you need to know how to do it? Go do it. Check it out, it's pretty easy. or something like that that we can put in the cap, right? And then that'll fasten with JB Weld. That's how I do it. So all you need is an end cap, uh, some large piece of PVC. You can cut this down after the fact. This is a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe, but that's not the actual work that has to be done. Basically, I got uh, couldn't find a tent stake at my local Home Depot, so I just got a big nail. Uh, we're going to drill a hole, uh, no, not much larger than the outer diameter of this nail in the bottom of this cap, and then we're going to JB weld it in place. That's pretty much it. Shout out to Step Bits. Step Bits are great for this little project. Just uh, find the right level of the step bit that matches your spike or tent pole stake, whatever you want. Yeah, I think I got this from Harbor Freight. Cheap. So what we're looking for here is we're going to use the vise to hold the end cap. You want to try and put it in there as level and square as possible. And you want the spike going off the side of a table. The reason for that is you want it to seek its own level. You want it to be as straight coming out of the bottom of the cap as possible. And then we're just going to fill up that lower area with JB Weld. And what I like to do is uh, twist the spike around a little bit, maybe even lift it up a little bit, get some JB Weld underneath the rounded part of the spike. Hey, who says after almost over 10 years of making YouTube videos that I know how to frame a shot? See, case in point, my right hand is covering up so much of the action here, so much of the action. All I'm doing is taking equal parts of JB Weld, making them up with a popsicle stick or hobby stick, and then I'm just gooping that stuff on top of the spike. And I think I had to make uh, two little batches of this to get enough to cover mm, about a quarter to a half inch of the nail head. And that's all you need to do. There's the last little blob, blob. And then I took the hobby stick and just kind of tried to help it self-level. JB Weld's not really good at self-leveling. It's really, really goopy stuff, really viscous. So get in there, push it around a little bit and let it sit at least, uh, I do at least 12 to 24 hours myself. All right, we're back and about a day later, we have a JB Welded spike 
in a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe end cap. So this will be rugged enough for most soft soils. It may crack the top and push the, 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 um, the actual spike out if you go into like really hard where you gotta pound it in with a rock or something like that. I don't really recommend it for that. But with that said, if that happens, and you can't get it all the way, you know, down. That's okay. If this breaks, you can always just re-glue it, pull the end piece up, and it's just attach the PVC pipe. Now, what do I do with the PVC pipe? So in the case of mine, it's way, 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 way too long right now because you don't need it this long. So what I like to do is since it stores with the spike in the pipe, I like to go about the full length of the spike and then give it about a half inch and then cut it there. So once you get the pipe cut to size, slide your pipe in, or your spike in, and this just goes in your bag. You just can put it upside down like that. If you want to throw some tape on this so it doesn't move around because it's going to jingle jangle as you're walking down the trail, that'd be fine. Ready to go. Boom. Snap it in place. Throw your mast on and then pull your fishing rod up or whatever you're using. And this basically acts like your center mast. You don't really need to guide the antenna at that point unless it's really windy. Now. You will be putting a lot of the support then on the legs of your dipole if you're using a dipole, which I recommend with this particular setup. So, you know, just keep an eye out. This isn't the solution for all things, but it gets you most of the way there. And it's really good for like a park deployment, something where you have soft soil or soil that is more uh, easy to push this spike into. And you generally just want to push it, you know, just like, ah, ah, like push it in, you know, that kind of thing. Anyway, that's it. That's the super simple antenna mast spike PVC kit. I didn't invent this. I just decided that, oh boy, this is an easy little project that we should all do, particularly if you're thinking about building that 20 meter spike or 20 meter speaker wire or zip cord antenna that we talked about a couple weeks ago. I hope you enjoyed this. I am Hashnasi, KI6NAZ. I stream every Friday at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We talk about all things ham radio. We've got a Patreon for our newsletter that comes out once a month. It's only a dollar to get that. We have the Facebooks, we have the Discords, the links for all that in the description and if you want to help the channel out think about using my Amazon link it's just like any other link in Amazon but when you buy something I get a little cut of the action it doesn't cost you anything more and it helps the channel out okay thanks so much guys I'll talk to you soon